come along with me for a flight from start to finish. I always grab my motor first and then run it through a pre-flight. By the way, an electric gas pump is a game changer. Everything looked good, so then I go mount my 360 camera, and then I go lay out my wing. Today I'm taking up the Gen Falcon 2, and my friend behind me is on the Gen Carve. After all my lines are straight, it's time to go clip in. So I get my helmet on and make sure all my straps are secured. Then I get my motor started and let it warm up. After I clip into my wing, I make sure my brakes and my A-lines are situated good in my hands. Then I slowly inch forward, take a couple steps, till I feel that tension in my lines. Once my lines are taut, I give them another once over to make sure everything's straight and nothing's crossing over each other. Everything looks great, so I take a couple steps back and get ready to run. Once I get the wing overhead, I check it with a little brake pressure, get into my throttle, and then I'm just running it out until I get lift. After I get some altitude, I will give my wing another once over and make sure everything looks good. From there out, it's just chilling and enjoying the freedom of flight. I do a little low pass over the LZ, and at this point the winds are starting to pick up so I get ready to land. I get out of my seat, get into my brake pressure, and flare it out. So then I gather all of my lines, rose up my wing back up, and walk it to the hangar. Lastly, I put my motor back in the hangar. I have to maneuver around all of the other toys. I unclip my motor, put my harness back on the cabinet, and wait till it's flyable again. See you next time.